Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about supernumerary teeth or we call it hyperdontia. Uh, before we start our topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more um, for more videos, okay? So uh, hyperdontia or supernumerary is the presence of congenital presence of some teeth uh, more than usual, okay? So uh, let's talk about supernumerary teeth. It can be inherited as an autosomal dominant or an X-linked trait and occurs by budding of the dental lamina. The extra tooth can resemble the normal tooth or it could be conical in shape or tuberculates. Almost all 98% uh, occur in the maxilla and mostly in the anterior palate. So it occurs in the palate in the um, anterior palate in the maxilla. The instance of supernumerary teeth, the instance of supernumerary teeth in the primary dentition is 0.2.8% uh, uh, with male and female ratio unknown. In the permanent dentition, it is 1.5 to 3.5% with a male to female ratio 2 to 1. So we talked about uh, what is uh, supernumerary teeth, incident, its incidence, and let's start with the, go to the diagnosis. A failed or ectopic tooth eruption routine radiographically part of a syndrome it could be a part of a syndrome like cleidocranial dysplasia clefting Gardner syndrome or official digital syndrome can you see here this is an addition uh, premolar here so we call it supernumerary okay here conical uh, supernumeraries uh, the management uh, uh, in case of conical, uh, supernumeraries often erupt and are extracted easily. Tuberculate or inverted conic, uh, conical forms usually require surgical removal. So we can use the elevator or the forceps, okay, uh, or both of them in order not to uh, disrupt, disrupt the, uh, the sequence of the um, pre other premolars, okay. Thanks for listening and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. And if you like the video, uh, press like. Thanks for listening and goodbye for now. Bye.